Alright, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. It's currently 10.59 p.m. December 24th, 2010. Uh, the reason I haven't posted a video since, I guess it was Wednesday or Thursday one, I can't remember, but I posted something Thursday saying um, that I was going to stick with what, sticking with my guns is what it was titled or whatever, but said two to four inches widespread and it looks like that very well could play out. Uh, the reason for no video in between then and now is I had no model data until today to support me on that, so basically all my video would be saying is still I'm expecting this and blah 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 and that's about it but now modeling is starting to agree so that's a good thing uh, I just want to show you this this is from the 18z run I'm pretty sure of the GFS and this is in Raleigh I don't think this is going to play out but this is what it printed out printed out a total of 13 and a half inches of snow for Raleigh don't know about that but we'll see uh, here's I think this is the GFS something um, but it's got us right there on the line of four to six right up the line of six inches um, here in Statesville North Carolina again we'll see I'll tell you my thoughts at the end uh, here is the Canadian the latest run of it uh, strengthens the low more so than what happened on the uh, 12z so that's good because the Canadian was dry until now um, it's got the low at 998 millibars, that's a good sign, and it's further west than it was before. Uh, I don't need to show you twister data, but here's AccuWeather.com modeling. Alright, let me see. I hope I've not kept you in the dark this whole time. Let me see. Um, here is the uh, Zero Z NAM. Alright, this is the Zero Z NAM that came out just two or three hours ago I guess um, so it's a pretty heavy band of snow setting up um, and I will say this the snow that we receive here northwest of I-85 looks to be mainly when the system is out of or it's still in the Gulf when it's starting to transfer energy over but may, most of our precip will come from the Gulf unless this storm does indeed take a further west track which is looking more and more likely and bombs out which could still happen and then we would get precip to kind of, well, not necessarily back build, but you get the idea, back through western part of North Carolina. Um, that prints out how much snow, I think, here it is, it prints out two there, one there, and one there, so that would add up to four inches. And here's the GFS accumulated snow cover, they've got us on two to three, or three to four, um, one, two, two to three, and just south of us, three to four. Um, Here's the SREF, and it's showing some pretty good snow also, and of course it has 7 inches out at the east part of the state, which is very well possible. Um, east of us are going to be the big winners with this storm, uh, regardless of how west it tracks. I um, don't think it's going to track enough for, to give us massive totals. Um, we'll see what happens overnight with the uh, European, and I'm pretty sure, I hope that was the right. Canadian, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, what happens with the latest run of the GFS and NAM in the morning and the Euro overnight tonight? Uh, here is the Zero Z NAM again. This is the 12Z no gaps. I pulled that up to check something. I didn't necessarily mean to show that to y'all, but it's got precip here too, just mainly to the east of us there. Um, but, anyways, here's the same thing I just showed you there. The GFS Zero Z is coming in. Um, here's 36 hours. Let's see. We got some precip to our east. Um, I will say that the NAM, let me take you back to the NAM real quick uh, and show you on this site. Let's see, this is total precipitation for the 60 hour period, which is pretty much the same. There's no more precip after this until Thursday or so. Uh, but you see that blue right over western Iredale, Catawba, and Gaston County? That would be five to seven inches of snow taken from Baden. But um, I'm still sticking with my two to four inch forecast. Now that's widespread and there's isolated lower and higher amounts. But if this trend continues overnight, I may have to bump up those totals, say three to six or so, um, with isolated higher amounts than that. But that's going out on a limb there. But I'm still sticking to two to four. Um, I think that's a pretty good guess. We'll see how this system tracks, and if it's further west, 
we're, we could be in for it, but if it's further east, then maybe not so much. But we'll see what unfolds overnight, and thank you for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you all in the morning.